Do you desire adventure and want to test your limits? Have you heard of Lake Natron, the Tanzanian body of water that can turn animals and even humans to stone? Yep, you heard that correctly. But don't worry, there are methods to survive this difficult lake. So are you prepared to learn how to resist nature and survive? Well, let's start with survival strategies that might save your life in Lake Natron. Now, we've all heard about Medusa, the Greek monster whose terrifying look turned men to stone. Now, that is a fable, yet a natural marvel in Africa does this just now. A rare interior lake in North Tanzania turns creatures into stone. Lake Natron is a hypersaline and alkaline lake in the dangerous East African Rift Zone. Tanzania features four alkaline lakes, the best notable of which is Lake Natron. But remember to like our video and be sure to share and subscribe to our channel. Press that bell icon for more survival content. So what is Lake Natron? Lake Natron is located in northern Tanzania, near Kenya's border. An active volcano immediately south of Lake Natron dominates the terrain. The lake has a maximum length of 56 kilometers and a width of 22 kilometers. The southern river and mineral-rich hot springs supply Lake Natron, and because the water cannot flow out of the lake, the color of the water is red, and evaporation is extremely high, resulting in the formation of natron, sodium carbonate dehydrate, and trona, sodium carbonate dihydrate. Now, because of the high concentration of natron, the lake has extremely high alkaline levels, making it one of the most dangerous lakes on Earth. Because of its proximity to a dangerous body of water, the surrounding terrain is frightening, yet it is also rich in unusual flora and wildlife. Bacteria are responsible for the color red. The lake's salinity has attracted salt-loving halophilic microorganisms known as cyanobacteria, which require photosynthesis. Cyanobacteria in general include a variety of colors. Their color turns the water in the lake a vibrant crimson. A few kinds of fish, crustaceans, and algae survive in the lake. Certain alkaline tilapia may survive in the colder regions of the lake. Now, on the other hand, Lake Natron can also be a death trap for some species, particularly birds. They are duped into diving into the crimson waters for food by the mirror-like surface. They drown in the poisonous concoction, and their skin and organs calcify. So when is the best time to visit Lake Natron? While the lake is located in an arid and hot environment, temperatures can often exceed 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The months of July through early October are likely ideal for visiting the region for two reasons. Winter brings lower temperatures and no rain, and the Great Rift Valley escarpment are visible here. Because most visitors to the lake also intend to visit the Serengeti, this is a good opportunity to witness the great wildlife migration river crossings in the northern Serengeti at this time of year. Some routes to and from the lake might become more difficult to traverse during the rainy season, late March to early May, yet it is feasible to still visit then. The only thing is the travel takes a bit longer. The rainy season also adds some lovely green softness to the region, which some find appealing. So how to survive Lake Natron? Well, number one, find a ride. Finding a ride is important since it will help you to travel this magnificent site and may also mean the difference between survival and danger. Because the surrounding area is notorious for its intense heat and harsh terrain, having a reliable mode of transportation is critical. But don't get discouraged. The splendor of Lake Natron is well worth the effort. Because of the lake's unusual chemistry, it has a stunning red tint and bizarre mineral formations along its coastline. While the lake's high alkalinity and warmth render it inhospitable for most aquatic species, it is a breeding habitat for flamingos who thrive on abundant food. Number two, wear a special suit. It requires wearing a special suit to protect you from the water's corrosive characteristics. This lake is unlike any other on the planet with a pH of roughly 10.5, comparable to household bleach. The water is so corrosive that it may dissolve the flesh from bones of animals who drink or swim in it. But with the proper equipment, people may safely cross this bizarre and dangerous world. The neoprene and other materials suit protectors the wear from the harmful water and allows them to explore the lake and its environment. The suit appears like something out of a science fiction movie with its brilliant red color and futuristic design, yet it is a real-life need for anybody wanting to survive Lake Natron. Number three, stay hydrated and protect your skin. Staying hydrated and protecting your skin from the harsh environment ensures survival. The extreme alkalinity of the water can cause severe dehydration, making it crucial to bring an ample supply of drinking water and electrolyte replacement drinks. 
Additionally, wearing protective clothing, including long sleeves, pants, and a hat is crucial to shield your skin from intense sunlight and high temperatures. The lake's alkaline environment can also cause severe skin irritation and damage, making sunscreen and lip balm essential to protect your skin. Number 4. Swimming Improperly If you fall into the lake during the rainy season, you might sink up to 10 feet. Because of the extraordinarily high salt concentration in the water, you will not sink, but the hot water will burn you. It is critical not to panic since this might lead to hyperventilation and tiredness. Keep your head above water and concentrate on your breathing. You can swim to the nearest seashore or bank if you are a good swimmer. However, because of the high alkalinity and warmth of the lake water, it is best to keep your mouth closed and avoid drinking any of it. Number 5. Make Friends Making friends with fellow explorers and people who know the region is one approach to boosting your chances of survival and making the most of your trip. These friendships can help you traverse the lake's unique environment and offer important survival hints and tools. You may learn about the best spots to locate fresh water and food supplies, and how to avoid harmful regions of the lake by interacting with other explorers. Additionally, exchanging tales and experiences with others who share your interests may make your travel more pleasurable and memorable. Number 6. Work Together Working together might be the difference between life and death in this harsh and ruthless environment. Working together has several advantages. Whether you are exploring the lake's magnificent salt formations, seeing its unusual species, or simply attempting to live, a group can boost its chances of survival and minimize the hazards of dehydration and heat fatigue by sharing resources like water, food, and shelter. Having numerous sets of eyes and ears can also aid in identifying possible threats and risks such as venomous snakes and crocodiles. Communication is also important, and a well-organized team may delegate roles and duties, coordinate movements, and make sound judgments. A Flamingo Paradise Nonetheless, one bird species has successfully established itself in Lake Natron. There are almost 2.5 million endangered lesser flamingos that breed here. Its coastlines are home to 75% of the world's population. There are no predators for the flamingos, and they eat algae and cyanobacteria. They can handle the hot waters because their salt glands filter it out. They prefer to stay in the cooler sections, although they may wade into the boiling soup if necessary. Its skin is robust enough to protect them from burns. For most people, the lake's attributes are more suited to the dead than the living. In the mummification process, the ancient Egyptians utilized sodium carbonate and bicarbonate. Lake Natron would have saved the pharaonic embalmers time and effort. Now, humans have sometimes escaped the lake's harshness. A helicopter carrying a crew of wildlife photographers hoping to film the flamingos crashed into the lake in 2007. It ended up in the water nose first. Everyone survived the collision, although they were vulnerable in the sea. Their eyes and skin were scorched, yet they dragged themselves ashore. Several locals assisted them there, and they would have perished if they had stayed in the water any longer. But if flamingos can do it, why can't we? Well, unfortunately, it is more complicated. Flamingos flourish in salty lakes because of their healthy skin and scaly legs, which protect them from burns. They can drink fresh water from adjacent springs or geysers on the lake's edge, and if necessary, they can filter salt water through unique glands in their nasal cavities. Furthermore, their strong stomachs allow them to feast on harmful algae throughout the lake. This makes Lake Natron an ideal location for them to nurture and safeguard their young. Ready to dive into the deep end and learn how to outswim a piranha frenzy? Don't get caught off guard and watch our next video for essential survival tips.